go. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm Brian. I'm Jaden, and this is Lab 7 on inter interferometry. In this lab, we used a Michelson interferometer, which contained a green mercury light source, which was passed through a beam splitter, which created two separate beams. One beam passed through the beam splitter, reflected off the back surface, went back through the, the other side of the beam splitter up to mirror two, and was reflected from mirror two back once more through the beam splitter to where it was observed over here. The other beam just passed through the beam splitter once off of mirror one and reflected back off the reflecting surface of the beam splitter and went back to where it was observed. Um, the, the way we aligned the two images was we um, got a pencil and we put it right here near the source and we used tip tilt and other align and just aligning the system just so the image of the pencil coincided with one each other. And once this was achieved, we located fringes by altering tip tilt on mirror two. And we also passed the, we had passed through the series of fringes by moving mirror one. So in this lab, we used a Michelson, the Michelson interferometer to measure two different fringe patterns. The first one was fringes of equal inclination, also known as Hardinger fringes. Um, this is created by a difference in optical path distances from the mirrors. When there's no difference in OPD, there's no fringe pattern. When there's a little bit of difference, you start to see a fringe pattern, and as you move the mirror further away, the fringes get closer and closer. Um, so as you adjust this micrometer stage, you see the fringes go in or out, respectively. The other fringe pattern that we looked at were fringes of equal thickness, created by a difference in tilts in the mirrors. So when there is no tilt in the mirror, there is no fringe pattern. When there's a little bit of tilt, you see straight lines, and then when there's a lot of tilt, you start to get into the spherical. So as mentioned, to create fringes of equal thickness, we have the same OPD, which means we're a lot more concise on the distance. We had to add a compensator to account for the three times that it passes through the beam splitter going on this path, because it only passes through one time through the beam splitter on this path. So we add a compensator, which has the same thickness and material as the beam splitter, right here at the same angle to create the same path length. And when we move the, the micrometer in and out for mirror one, we're able to see the fringes move along the left, right, or however it's oriented axes. Um, with the fringes of equal thickness, we can also observe white light fringes, and this occurs because there's constructive interference when the OPD is equal to zero. And since blue has shorter wavelength than red, it interferes differently, and in the center, they completely constructively interfere, and they start to destructively interfere as the OPD starts to change, and you move away from the center by moving the micrometer. We're not able to observe white light fringes with hiding near fringes because there is an OPD difference always whenever you see hiding near fringes.